How is time counted for legal purposes? Asarco v. Union Pacific Railroad explains how federal courts count time. The Comprehensive Environmental Response, Compensation, and Liability Act, or CERCLA, allocates liability for cleanup of environmental contamination. The government seeks to hold the responsible parties financially liable for the cleanup and remediation costs. A party targeted by the government may seek contribution from other potentially responsible parties, but CERCLA's statute of limitations provides that, quote, no action for contribution for any response costs or damages may be commenced more than three years after the date of entry of a judicially approved settlement, unquote. Asarco operated mines, and Union Pacific built railroads and transported ore in Idaho's Coeur d'Alene River Basin for nearly a century. The mining operations left the basin contaminated, and the Environmental Protection Agency had led cleanup efforts since 1982. The United States filed a CERCLA claim against ASARCO to recover cleanup costs. ASARCO filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. Eventually, the government settled with ASARCO for $482 million. The bankruptcy court approved and entered the settlement order on June 5, 2009. On June 5, 2012, ASARCO filed a contribution claim against Union Pacific, seeking its share of the millions ASARCO paid the government. ASARCO's original complaint defined the Coeur d'Alene site, specifically excluding the drainage of the river's North Fork. Two months later, ASARCO filed a timely first amended complaint, which defined the site to include the North Fork drainage. Union Pacific sought to dismiss ASARCO's amended complaint arguing that it was barred by CERCLA's statute of limitations. The district court rejected Union Pacific's statute of limitations argument, but dismissed ASARCO's amended complaint on other grounds. ASARCO appealed to the Ninth Circuit. 